You know, one of my biggest concerns, we have by definition created a home for seniors that is uh, complete with a high clinical standard of care. Because when you're aging and you lose your health, you lose the home you live in, the street you live on, you lose your community and your neighbors. You lose and you lose and you lose and you lose, all because you really can't care for yourself anymore. So we feel strongly and have been able to prove that a residential life quality in a lovely home and a lovely community combined with clinical care as best possible. However, that comes at a, at a bit of a price. We don't put up big buildings. We don't have giant signs in front of our homes because we're trying to create a new family and a new home for that senior. And so it's difficult for people to know we're here. And I'm always concerned that families know we're here, that they don't walk by the one thing the one senior living option that will bring them some peace of mind. And so when they hand mom over to Shepherd, they're able to sleep at night because they know they did the best possible thing that they could do for her. But we're not big and loud screaming it from the rooftops because we're not as visible as others in the senior living industry. So we meet that need with digital footprints and we use social media and we found other ways to reach out. But I, I just, I just want to be in the mix. I want every family to know um, you haven't, you're not done until you look at Shepherd. You haven't seen it all until you've seen us. We've built a, a um, faith-driven sort of a culture into Shepherd, and and I would answer, although I know I, re I recognize this is a care question, and I would answer that. Um, the environment and the atmosphere in the house is kind of where it starts. But our caregivers, um, they understand that Shepard made a decision in the beginning that being good at the care was better than being big. And so we've never really been interested in being a big senior living business. What we're really interested in is the caregiver be being free to do what's in her heart every day. So you don't go into this line of work if you don't have compassion and if you're not driven by a serious uh, heart for serving other people. Because a lot of the care that we deliver is very intimate. And so you're really touching the heart and the life of someone who can't take care of themselves. And people don't do that unless they have a certain kind of a heart. And so we're looking for that heart in the interview and we're engaging that heart in our houses. And we created a, a peaceful, restful, home where all of that can be delivered. But at the same time, our care standard is probably clinically higher than most people in senior living. In a lot of models, there is a nurse for passing meds, um, which is a requirement by the state. So keep in mind, we're all licensed the same way. We all have the same rules to fo follow. But um, if you give a caregiver an amount of work to do, that uh, he or she can do well, they're gonna stay. And if you show them a path into greater clinical learning, the ones that want that will follow that path. So we have this uh, beautiful care model with a pretty deep clinical care standard. So um, one of the things we do at Shepherd that I'm immensely proud of is that we consider the cardiac health of our residents first. So everybody in the space needs to be worried about incontinence and mobility and managing diabetes and, and you know, all of those you know, comorbid conditions that come with aging. But in the end, when we pass from this life to the next, it's because our heart stops beating. So we capture cardiac, uh, we capture vitals as required by the state, but we're capturing them to create a risk score that describes their cardiac health. And so we start there, and then we do all of those other care areas that are so vital to their life quality. So we don't leave any of it undone. And we've created a clinical team that our caregivers work with. They get to work with cardiologists and neurologists and every kind of ologist out there that, you know, and these really talented clinical minds come to our homes and deliver that 
standard of care in our houses. So while you're ill and you need clinical care, you don't have to be sitting in an institutional environment without proper attention. That clinical standard can be delivered in a loving, caring environment. And that is, I think, the single biggest distinction about Shepherd is that we built ourselves that way. We're not trying to get to it, we started with it.